you were telling me before. Tell t- tell the people the story about about the wheel. I, I, I love that yarn. Was, right. Anyway, he, he actually told this story on a, on the Terry Wogan chat show, but he didn't. He, he defended me. He didn't call me by name. He referred to me on that as an I had this Irish caddy, you know. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I phoned him up and said, "Yeah, it's David McNeely here. I'm to caddy for you." And he said, uh, "Okay, right." So I'll tell you what, David, you, you get down to you get down to Lindrick tomorrow and get everything sorted out. Get the golf balls, get the gloves, find out what the chipping green is, putting green, driving range. Get just get everything sorted out, okay? And um, I'll be there at ten o'clock. Now, incidentally, do you have a do you have a wheel? And in those days, the caddies used a, a measuring wheel of a dometer to measure the golf courses. You know, I, I had no idea what that was. You know, I had no idea what that. Was. And I thought, oh, oh, what he means is. Do you have wheels, man? You know, I'm coming from America. Yeah. He's given me that line there. I said, no, no, I, I don't. No, I don't. I, I use public transport. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just disappeared now. He's gone underneath his table or something, you know, and he's disappeared for like 15 seconds now. He's probably, you know, chewing his arm off, you know, with laughter. <laughs> so eventually he, re- he recovers and he comes back and he says, what's your name again? I go, David McNeely, you know. He said, let's get this right here, David, okay? So you're telling me you use a double-decker bus to get your yardages? <laughs> I'm going, what's he talking about? <laughs> so he said, forget it, forget it. I'll see you tomorrow at 10. 